Uh, first of all, I'm losing my voice. Second of all, I've run entire video without microphone on. Damn it. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Second in this third part of Smart and Alpha series we're gonna talk about time and location context which can be used to trigger navbar icons uh, which then later can be assigned to different tasks and in this tutorial uh, precisely I'm going to show you how to create a time sensitive uh, reminder to set an alarm so when you press on it it will set an alarm nice and simple this is a standalone action uh, however it's going to be nicely wrapped in a bigger um, a project so it's going to introduce you to a really smart navbar. So if you want to see this happen, that's going to be on the last video when I take all the six different standalone actions and uh, wrap them together with a separate profile. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how uh, to do it, uh, how to use the time context, how to use the location context. So when you want something to happen at specific time and specific location, instead of having this run, you're going to have a icon or confirmation um, of your action that requires and when you press on it something will happen so if you work different hours or you want alarms for different places uh, that could be one way to automate it let's jump into a tutorial uh, sorry let's jump into a showcase first and then I'll show you the tutorial another thing that uh, you can do with it you can time different actions so for example I've made an alarm clock to appear based on my location and the time context so the icon will remind me to set the alarm and when the alarm is set it will set the alarm and disappear so you can have your evening routine or if you don't uh, uh, for example uh, work in the usual patterns you can use that reminder to set your alarm and make sure you don't forget uh, the alarm for the next day. So let's take a look at task. As you can see, this is a profile itself. If I activate it, it actually is within the time, so it should display uh, the action uh, in the navbar. So right now I have this navbar. When I press on it, it will set the timer for me, the alarm, and basically that's what happens. Now there are two restrictions on this. I use the variable and the time. Time obviously shows in what times this icon is gonna be present for me to press and location describes in what locations. If you uh, have a look at the variable field, show me that uh, location is home right now and the times obviously was specified. Now let's take a look at the tasks. Now this um, navbar will disappear after the allocated time using just a reset action which will set the default nav navigation bar. And when you want to set it, all you have to do is just a navigation bar and select your task from the list. Now the task itself, uh, it has an icon assigned. It's white, so you can't really see it on this background very well, but that was the bell available in a corner. And it's a simple set alarm um, action available through a tasker and, and then followed by reset because I want that uh, navbar to disappear and uh, restore my original navbar once uh, the action has been taken and this is a very simple but it can be very powerful because you can set different reminders you can set different actions and you can uh, link them to either time or location itself thank you so much for watching guys uh, everything is explained in the description for you there is a link to an article so if you have any questions read that first and then pop in the question if you want uh, also i don't have a schedule so uh, either follow me on social media or use the notification bell from uh, youtube to get notified when the new video or new content is out that'll be great as for now guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care